Are you anti-love this Valentine's <laughs> Day? Gosh. The overflowing <laughs> of love, hearts, chocolates, all that stuff can Ooh. stir up all sorts of negative emotions during the holiday. Okay, so why not work on the most important relationship this Valentine's Day, and that is the one with yourself. Here with tips on how to show ourselves some self-love is transformation coach and author of Get a PhD in You, Julie Riesler. Welcome to Great Day Washington. Thanks for being here. Good to have you here. Thank you. I know a lot of people are very, uh, maybe, ignoring the holiday next week, but you're saying we can embrace it and, and show ourselves some love. How do we do that? I think it's really important because we often think about, and it's important to think about other people, our family, mm -hmm. our friends, our partner, spouse, those we love, but we often forget to do that for ourselves, and mm. it's so important. And so we have some ways today to talk okay. about how to pour into yourself so that you have a full cup so you can give. Mm. And, and when, we're reminding people, like, we're talking about this because Valentine's Day comes up, but this is what we need to do all the time. All the time. All the time. Okay, yes. what you got there? Yes, so first we have a little mirror. So we tend, I don't know about you, get up in the morning, you look in the mirror, and what do you usually? Oh. See the wrinkles, <laughs> the eye bag. So I'm proposing we start changing and flip that script. So mm. we have a little mirror here that you can pull up, and it just says, I love you. And it says it on the mirror. On you like right onto onto it. On right, right on there. Oh, nice. I love is you. that a uh, is that a dry erase marker? Does yeah. it come off then? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. Right there. Yeah. Very right cool. There. Okay. You also talk about journaling. Journaling is so it's so underrated. People don't realize the importance. We go around. We have over seventy thousand thoughts a day. A lot of those mm -hmm. thoughts are throwaway thoughts. So journaling can be a really good place to get your thoughts out, but also to give yourself some appreciation, some love, some gratitude. What we focus on expands. So journaling is a great way to take a moment. And I have a lot of different journals here. These are yeah. all mine that I use. <laughs> to just to write, okay, what am yeah. I noticing? What do I appreciate? What do I love about myself now? Even when things don't go well, we wanna look at what is going well with us. And mm -hmm. it starts with journaling. Mm -hmm. You've Even been trying to get me to journal. I <laughs> have tried. And now my phone's asking me to journal on oh. it. Have you seen that new app? That It just came oh, when yeah. I updated my phone. I guess as long yeah. as you're kind of putting it out anywhere, Somewhere. whether it's actually in like your notes, right? I mean, I know there's something to actually write it out, the yeah. act of writing it out, but yeah. mm -hmm. getting those thoughts out yeah, there, like to it's just important. Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely makes a big difference and you can yeah. go back and then see and circle and highlight and put a heart and it's your space for you I love that. yeah yeah okay you have this hand on your heart exercise right what is yes. this very simple so everyone can do this with me okay. you literally take a hand mm -hmm. put on your heart and so first just really noticing feeling your heart is beating it is beating on your behalf mm -hmm. literally pumping blood and life force through you and you could even mm -hmm. say you didn't have to do anything for it. There's a loving force to it. Take one deep breath. So inhale and imagine breathing in through your heart and exhale. Just slow it down mm -hmm. and just feeling your heartbeat, feeling that connection can really make mm -hmm. a difference, that physical connection with mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Even if someone's not there to hug you, putting your hand on your heart mm -hmm. has shown that it can tamper your stress response and it feels yeah. good. Yeah. Just take it down a notch a mm -hmm. little bit. Yeah. All right, you say write yourself a love note. What is this? <laughs> I was thinking you could each do it if you wanted or oh, you could do it later. Okay. Yes. So I have little cards. I actually do this for real and I have friends do this and clients do this. You can write yourself a note of appreciation. So okay. there's a note on the one side yeah. with a quote, but on the back oh, you yeah. write something to yourself. Put it in your car, put it in your bag, put mm. it in your book as a bookmark. And rather oh. than having the trashy thoughts that we say, we have yeah. kind thoughts. So you're writing positive things, not like get yes. on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. First, okay. Positive. Exactly. Yeah, it says, I think okay. it is all a matter of love. What did you yeah, say? Yeah, that's it. I'm never not thinking of you. Oh, I love mm -hmm. that. They're very good. And you could just write something on the back to yourself, you know, like, okay. I appreciate you. I love you. You're doing awesome. Something encouraging. Get I it, just girl. want to get to affirmation get really get fast. I know you have even more. How can we do affirmation? Are you daily affirmations? Yeah, I'm a okay. huge fan. I actually brought some intention cards that can be helpful where you pull one. Yeah. Um, affirmations, again, we always have this you know, opportunity to really think about what we're saying, be conscious, be aware. And so this can be helpful. You just pull a card and then you mm. look at the affirmation yeah. or yeah. you can make your There's own. There's a declaration, yes. ask you questions. I do this every morning too. Yeah. 
<laughs> Julie, we're just really in sync here. I, love it. I really like some sort of intention card, affirmation yes. card in the morning. Yeah. 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 And you can just you can Great pull ideas. or write your own, and then yeah. in your journal you could have an intention for the day, an affirmation. Yeah. Like I'm going to be full of compassion and kindness mm -hmm. today, right. mm -hmm. and that makes a difference. Yeah. People will feel that. I'm meant you to be joyful, and I create yeah. joy for myself. I there love we go. It. So Thank many you. great tips. Don't dread Valentine's Day this year. Yeah. Just go ahead and go learn from Julie's book. Again, it's called Get a PhD in You.